two, three, four. I've heard the word, I felt the call, I've answered, I am free. I've done the work, I've walked the walk, and given you the praise. I've been the hands, I've been the feet, I've helped the least of these. But once again, I've lost my way, and now I'm on my knees. So here I am. higher than the mountains I keep climbing deeper than the valleys where I keep hiding wider than the seas it keeps on reaching me your grace is bigger than the fears I keep on fighting greater than the pain I keep denying stronger than chains you have kept me free so keep on keeping me i've sung the song shined your light and carried up my cross i shared the truth received your love and understood the cost I've turned my cheek, dropped the stone, and know who I should be. But once again, I lost my way, and now I'm on my knees. So here I am, needing your grace again. That's higher than the mountains. I keep climbing deeper than the valleys where I keep hiding. Wider than it keeps on reaching me Your grace is bigger than the fears I keep on fighting Greater than the pain I keep denying Stronger than the chains You have kept me free So keep on keeping me Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I'd be lost forever, but forever your love keeps. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. That's higher than the mountains I keep climbing Deeper than the valleys Where I keep hiding Wider than the seas It keeps on reaching me Your grace is bigger than the fears I keep on fighting Greater than the pain I keep denying So keep on keeping me. Good morning, Hope Church. This is Carol Stansfield, and I am introducing our mission of the month for October, and that is Hope Haven, Rwanda. Hope Haven is a school that was founded by Susan Holleran, who happens to be an Anthony Wayne girl. Uh, she founded the school in 2012. It's located in Marindi, Rwanda, which is a very poor, poor area of the country. There were no schools there. 
Um, she founded the school and she realized that the key to getting out of poverty truly is education and she is giving the children a wonderful education. She started under a tree and now she has over 700 students. So please consider giving to Hope Haven. It's, it's a blessing for you and for them. Thank you. In this community, there are so many jobless people who are struggling. And it's not all about poverty, but it's the belief people have, like I can't make it. So nobody had the future like tomorrow will be this. Their dreams had just died. But today they are dreaming. The kids are managing so many things in the classroom. So the parents have started witnessing that, and that has created a bigger impact. So there is a future now. They are trying so hard to see what happens tomorrow. There is so much hope Heaven has done for this community, apart from the school, but even the well-being of a family. We want to change the community. So when we teach them and we show them that when you educate your child, there is a bright future, not for just your kid, but for both of you. So this has changed their life. Uh, however much they are still struggling, but at least their mentality has changed. I like Open because they improve on our studies and we are able to overcome the problems in our society and we can be the great people in the, in the future. Hope Haven School is a modern school compared to other schools that has given them a very good foundation. We have, I would say, world-class facilities, the computer lab, the, the library, the science laboratories. So all these help our children really to be exposed to so many things. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So to me, I'm just eager to see engineers, doctors, journalists, all the professions coming out of this place because the sky is the limit for them. Yes, can you? Today I feel like Hope Even is like 30% of what we need to do. Every year we take in 90 or 95 students, but the turn up is bigger than that. 400, 600. They are fighting for 90 slots. That's something that shows you the demand is still high. So we need more expansion. We need more support. Like right now, we are out of space. Next year, we are not going to do any admissions because all the classes are full. So we still feel there's so much to be done. Audio jungle. This campus was originally designed for nursery to primary six, sixth graders. And I assumed that there were schools that could take these children all the way through high school and then take them through college. But the truth of the matter is, there's a 75% dropout rate between sixth grade and 12th grade. What we'd like to do 
is to continue on with secondary. And we've actually taken those steps. We've purchased nine acres of land so we could have a campus immediately contiguous to the current campus. What we need to do is secure funding to build the secondary school and the boarding facility. For the secondary student, they require a lot of time to do the vision. So if we like have a boarding section, that would help them and us as the school to make sure we have a follow-up of our students during the daytime and even at night time. Boarding school in Rwanda is a very big cultural norm. It takes a lot of pressure off of the families, and then we will know that our kids are having three really nutritious meals. They'll have lighting with which to study. They'll have computers to do research. I hope she can be a boarding school because when a person is, is studying while leaving home, sometimes they get difficulties and this can make it hard for people to study well and end their study successfully. Audio Jungle. The only way to exterminate extreme poverty, living on a dollar or two dollars a day, is to get an education where these kids are fully graduated from 12th grade. They can qualify to go to college and be difference makers for tomorrow. The impact is huge.
Good morning. So last week, we heard about how God saved the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and took them through the waters to freedom. Well, now they are free, and God was taking them through the wilderness to the land that God had promised to Abraham. They stopped at a mountain for Moses to go and meet with God. Moses climbed the mountain and no one could see where he was. He was gone a long time. The people got scared, thinking that Moses was never going to come back. Here they are in the wilderness and they did not know where to go and their leader Moses was gone. They were afraid and in their fear, they stopped trusting God. The people decided to make something new to worship and protect them. So they built a statue, a golden calf. The statue is probably much bigger than this one, but it makes me wonder how they thought a statue would help them. I also wonder how they felt after they built this statue. Did it do what they wanted it to do? Well, God was very angry that the people had with what the people had done. But God remembered the covenant with Abraham, and Moses went down the mountain destroyed the statue and led the people back to trusting God. It can be hard to trust God when we're afraid. In today's story, the people made a lot of bad choices because they were afraid. And we often make bad choices too when we're afraid. We all get scared sometimes. But when we're scared or afraid, it's important to take a deep breath and remember that God is with us. God will never leave us and we need to put our trust in God. Let's pray. Lord, Please be with us when we are afraid. Help us to know that you are there. Help us to feel your presence. Help us to hear from you in those times when we're scared. And help us to keep putting our trust in you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. One, two, three, one, two, three. They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And right now, right now I'm losing bad. I stood on this stage day after day, reminding the broken it'll be okay. But right now, oh right now I just it's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down but what will i say when i'm held to the flame like i am right now i know you're able and i know you can see through the fire with your Cause a little faith is all I have right now But God, when you choose to leave mountains unmovable Don't give me the strength 
strength to be able to sing. have strayed so far away we cut down people in your name but the sword was never ours to swing Jesus friend of sinners truth has become so hard to see the world is on their way to you but they're tripping over me always looking around but never looking up so double-minded a plank-eyed saint with dirty hands and a heart divided oh jesus friend of sinners open our eyes to the world at the end of our pointing fingers let our hearts be led by mercy help us reach with open hearts and open doors oh jesus friend of sinners break our hearts for what breaks yours Oh, Jesus. 
stand up fall on you Jesus you're my Oh, 